Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After you have chosen a citation style, you will need to insert your cited source into your document. You will first place your cursor at the end of the text that you are quoting within the document and then click the References tab in the ribbon. In the Citations and Bibliography button group, click the Insert Citation drop-down button. You will see two options here, Add New Source and Add New Placeholder. For this lesson, select the Add New Source command to open the Create Source dialog box. Depending on the style you chose, the field names may differ. However, the basic concept is the same for all styles. Use the Type of Source drop-down to choose the type of source you are quoting. Fill out all the necessary remaining information in the available fields. To see all of the available fields for a source, check the Show All Bibliography Fields checkbox. Any fields specific to the style you selected will display a red star at their left side. When you have completed the information for your source citation, you can click the OK button to insert your citation. The style of citation you chose will determine what is inserted into your document. Any citation you create will be displayed under the Insert Citation list the next time you click it. If you use the same source again, you can simply select it from the list to insert it into your document again. Like a mail merge field, a citation is a field entered into your document. You can click the citation to see its bounding box and a drop-down button that contains a menu list of options you can use to edit or manipulate your citation and source. These options will be covered in later lessons within this chapter. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.